Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to be talking about poo and I really hope that I don't get demonetized. I'm also wearing a poo coloured shirt so we're already off to a good start. I think perhaps my most requested video is to talk about how to litter train your rats so that is what I'm going to talk about in today's video. Litter training your rats can be really frustrating but luckily rats are highly intelligent animals and they pick up and learn new things really quickly and once you've mastered the art of having them go in one place it makes cleaning them and managing bad odours a lot easier. Rats as well as some other small animals will naturally go to the toilet in one corner so if you identify which corner this is that they're going in this is where you're going to want to put the litter tray and that's a starting point. If you have a multi-level cage like mine, you may find they go in several corners. If this is the case, then you're definitely going to want to pick up a couple of litter trays. And if you do have multiple rats and quite a lot of rats, then you're definitely going to want a couple litter trays. So the litter trays that I like to use look like this. And this is a corner litter tray that basically you put in the corner where you find that your rats are going the most. And you also want to make sure the litter tray you're using is big enough because if you get one that's too small, you may find that they're going around the litter tray instead of inside it. I also like using this type of litter tray because it does have clips on the side that help you to clip it and attach it to the side of the cage. This just prevents them from sliding it around the cage and moving it around and potentially pushing it away from the corner that they're supposed to be going in. If you find that your rats don't really go in any specific corner then it is okay just to pick one yourself and if you find that they are then using a different corner you can then always switch and move the litter tray there. So the next thing you're going to want to decide is which litter to use in the litter tray. Now it's always good to use a separate litter to the one that you have inside the cage as the main bedding. This just helps them to distinguish the difference between the litter tray and the main cage and helps them to determine where they're supposed to go. So for example in the main part of my cage I use a recycled cardboard bedding as the main bedding in the whole cage and then in my litter trays I use a paper pellet bedding so either by a catalette or back to nature. These beddings are really good for using in the litter trays because they are really absorbent and will be the best at controlling odours. When you are picking out litters like this to go in the litter tray just make sure they are dust free just because they can cause your rats to have respiratory problems because of how dusty some beddings can be. So to get them started on this, you're going to want to put it in a corner that you find them pooping in the most and put some of the poops in the litter tray just so it smells like them and they kind of get to know that this is where they're supposed to go. Although this is quite time consuming, from now on you're going to want to put every poop you find in the cage into the litter tray just so they know that they're not supposed to go in the rest of the cage and that they are supposed to use their litter tray. Eventually if you keep this up and keep putting the poos in the litter tray whenever you find them, they will eventually learn that this is where they are supposed to go to the toilet now. Although sometimes they can of course be really stubborn and lazy and you may find a few little surprises here and there. So whenever you completely clean the cage and take everything out, take all the bedding out, save a few poos, I know this sounds really weird, just to put back in the litter tray so that when your rats do go back in the cage they associate this with where they're supposed to go to the toilet. I also find that if I've had mine out of the cage for a really long time having some playtime, they will tend to hold things in because they are litter trained now, but I will always place them back in the cage near or into the litter trays so they know that this is where they're supposed to go after being out of playtime, or alternatively if you do intend to have them out for a longer period of time, have that litter tray out for them just so they can go in that as an option, because I do get some questions from people asking what to do when their rats are pooing and peeing, when they're out on your bed or something like that, Maybe just have the litter tray out with you and with them whilst they're playing just so they have that option to go to and they're not making a mess all over the place. So that's the poop sorted. Um, being consistent with this and keeping on top of it every time you see one in the cage will eventually, hopefully, teach them that that is where they're supposed to go. But what about them peeing everywhere still? So for this you're going to need a pee rock. Now mine is not a good example of this but it's basically just a flat smooth rock that you put in the rat's litter tray. Make sure it's at least a third of the size of the rat so a decent size to put in the litter tray and this just encourages them to scent mark and pee on the rock. Don't ask me why they do this but they do really enjoy peeing on rocks and if one of your rats scent marks the rock you'll find that your other rats may come along and also do the same thing and this will just encourage them to pee in their litter trays. So if you are bringing in rocks from outside that you've found to use in the litter trays, you're going to want to sterilise them first just to make sure they're safe and you can do this just by putting them in some boiling water. So by using these two techniques, consistently putting the poop in the litter tray whenever you see it anywhere in the cage and by placing a pea rock in the litter tray, hopefully your rats should get litter trained although it's not always that straightforward. Some rats will be really easy and pick this up straight away, others will continue to be stubborn and just go wherever they want in the cage but even just partial use of the litter tray really does help to keep on top of things and is better than nothing. 
I found my first lot of rats were really easy to litter train and then when the new babies came along they kind of learnt from Rolo that they needed to go where he was going because he was already litter trained so I think once you've got rats that are litter trained it is a little bit easier but still sometimes I will just find the odd poop around the cage which is really frustrating but rats will be rats. <laughs> so hopefully this video was helpful to you guys, I know you've been requesting it for quite a while. Make sure you subscribe to see more animal related videos from me and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!